So this is one of the craziest MCPs I've seen. It makes tools such as Windsurf and Corsair pretty redundant. And I'm very excited to share this short video with you guys. If you've been following my channel uh, for a while now, you know that I'm not using MCPs so often. I'm more um, focused on workflow automation using AI agents, but I couldn't uh, ignore this MCP server. Uh, every now and then, I go to um, different aggregators of MCPs and I check uh, what's new. So Smithery is a great uh, aggregator for checking out different MCPs. As you can see here, you can uh, view all the most popular MCPs. And over here you have like the amount of, of usage, the usage amount of each MCP server. And based on the usage, I often dictate what should I test or what should I test or what should I wait uh, what seems useful. There's also this uh, very interesting GitHub repository that is a collection of FCPs. Anyway, going back to Smithery, um, as you can see here, Desktop Commander is probably the most popular MCP at the moment, and rightly so. And let me share with you exactly um, the details about Desktop Commander. This is the, the website, by the way. So basically, the main difference between Desktop Commander, the MCP, and other tools is Desktop Commander, uh, imagine it as if you have Windsurf or Corsair or an AI coding assistant with no limits in, term, in terms of usage and API calls. Why? Because Desktop Commander is an MCP that you connect to your uh, cloud app and from there on, you, it can operate on your system with your um, cloud subscription. So basically this means that if you're paying for the cloud pro um, plan, which is 20 bucks, your monthly cost of um, development of AI development is capped at 20 bucks. Uh, so, which is pretty awesome because you don't need to worry about any API calls um, and token usage like um, basically ignore the limitations that you have with uh, Corsair and Windsurf. So let's explore quickly what are the features. So first of all, uh, local file storage and processing. So all your files remain safely on your local machine. Only the necessary data is sent to CloudLM for processing and analysis. Unlimited token access, and this is the biggest benefit. So you can work without worrying about API tokens limit per token cost, etc. Because as I said, it is using the your paid cloud plan it has smart file system integration so basically it's supposed to understand your project structure with intelligent file search and can make precise surgical changes it has full terminal access uh, cross-platform comp uh, comp compatibility and customizable configurations in terms of security file access permission and command execution rules to match your specific requirement and comfort level in terms of use cases, so all the relevant use cases, anything that you would like to automate or, or develop with AI, uh, you can use the desktop commander for it. Uh, in terms of installation, the installation is pretty straightforward, it's just as if you're uh, installing any other MCP, so I won't go into detail. Uh, a few things that I would like to mention before moving uh, forward and showing it in, in action. So, Basically, in the FAQ, he mentions what is the difference between Desktop Commander and uh, Windsurf and Cursor. So, unlike tools like Cursor or Windsurf, which are primarily designed as coding IDE, Cloud Desktop Commander works with, with Cloud to provide a more flexible solution-centric approach. And the key differences are Cloud reads full files during exploration, ensuring it captures the complete structure. I think this is also something that happens with Windsurf and Surfer. Coding tools like Windsurf and, and Surfer chunk and index files, sometimes missing key relationship. This is true, but sometimes it's actually a benefit. Cloud generate and display diagram directly in chat. I don't consider this to be such a huge benefit, but it, for some people who use diagrams very often, it's a big benefit. And a Cloud Desktop Commander allows you to work across your entire system, not just within coding environments. This is cool. Now, in terms of cost, this is, uh, I think, the most important aspect that you only need to pay um, to, the, to Anthropic for the Cloud Pro plan, and that's, that's it. You're pretty much capped in terms of what you will need to pay on your, with your monthly usage. And here, uh, he shares what is the, how does it compare 
to client or tools uh, or extensions, VS Code extensions such as WooCode. And it's basically um, the fact that it's uh, working in, inside your system, not just within the editor. It can handle automation, terminal commands, and long running processes, which is, I guess, it's also true for WooCode and Klein. And it has fixed costs, which is the biggest benefit by far. So, uh, first of all, just an example. So, I asked it to do, to create a to do list app in this directory. And then it just went about and created this to do, to -do list app. So, video about MCP. And we can remove this. Very straightforward, very easy. And this is nothing exciting. I mean, it is cool, but um, we, you've seen that already. So let's uh, try different things. For example, um, can you create an app that will connect to my webcam and it will, based on the movement of my hand, it will help me um, pause and start recording of the web of the desktop plus when i open my hand the whole palm and then use my index finger i want to be able to point on things on the screen based on my movement so i actually really winged it uh, improvised this prompt i didn't test it before but i saw i think the founder of this MCP did a similar um, example in one of his videos. Uh, I think you can find it over here. Yes, this this video. I will leave it. I mean, you can find it over here. So no need for me to leave it in the in the comment section. But uh, this was a very cool demonstration of how useful this is. So you can see it says I'll create an app. Um, and then it just cries, it starts creating the, the files in my actual PC, in my actual uh, system. And as you can see from here on, it's pretty plain, um, just as if um, it's, it's writing the code, nothing new. But again, the biggest benefit is the fact that you have it um, with a capped pricing. So this al allows a lot of... Um, freedom of exploration and you don't need to worry about token usage and some people report that there are also other benefits um, such as being able to work with better uh, with bigger um, code bases but i'm not sure if uh, it is significant i'm, I'm using windsurf very often Windsurf is currently my favorite tool and it is working very well, even with large code bases. As you can see here, I have Windsurf. Perhaps we can afterwards, let's try to do this thing. Let's try to copy this path. And this uh, contains um, an automation that I built, which allows you basically to upload videos to Facebook and create ads from those videos. It connects to Facebook via API. So this is the whole uh, core base. And in a moment, we will use um, the desktop commander, the MCP, in order to analyze this core base. For now, you can see it is just creating the files. We can choose whichever model that we would like, which is also a big benefit. Um, one thing to bear in mind is in opposing to Windsurf and Corsair, which you can use uh, OpenAI, uh, Grok, DeepSeek, etc. So here you're pretty much confined to Anthropic, which I don't mind because I usually use Cloud anyway. Now this is writing the code. All right, so it finally finished to write the code. I must admit it was pretty slow. I don't know if it's related to the MCP or just because the fact that it wrote a lot of code. Anyway, it says that it successfully created the hand gest gesture control app. And as you can see, it is here locally over here. Let's open this. And in a moment, we will also test it to see if it works well. Let's see what it does. So we must in open the index.html file click start camera and then 
let's see how it works now i don't really care if it wow <laughs> i didn't expect this i don't really care if it works well or not because uh, this isn't the main idea i mean if it works well or not it's mostly down to um the quality of the prompt and the quality of the models being used um but let's see let's see so start camera allow while visiting this site okay let's allow this what did i do it did it did work for a second over there let's see application started successfully we have even a log we have how to use the code initialize ah, it's using uh, the webcam camera that i have below uh, my actual camera so this is why as you can see here let's do like this let's move this so it sees my hand open palm activate pointer mode index finger control pointer oh very interesting because you can see here let's activate and we are trying to move this okay i'm not sure what it did now let's try again opening palm yes we are able let's see open palm it is able to follow my hand which is pretty cool but i'm not sure if the functionality is 100 percent what we expected we can calibrate this probably stop but anyway this isn't the, again this is the main point the main point is that mcp this mcp desktop commander is very impressive and very useful and it could be a great way for those of you who are um have budget limitations and they don't want to pay for many api calls and they are afraid of overusing Corsair or Windsurf, I think Desktop Commander can be very valuable. I have yet to understand what are like the main benefits of Desktop Commander in terms of features, except for mitigating the cost. But I will make another video about this and update you guys. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And I highly recommend that you check out Smittery, which is an excellent um, aggregator of different MCPs. And obviously check out Desktop Commander. If you haven't subscribed yet and enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. Leave any feedback in the comment section below. And until next time, keep on automating.